Hello everyone, back into the builder tool in um, Blancos block party game. Um, keep in mind this is still in private beta, so things might change and uh, you might find bugs and stuff, so something to keep in mind. Uh, before that I was putting some lighting uh, and I couldn't see them. So basically what happened, uh, I put them underneath the base block, you see this one? Now. I didn't know where they are. Now I realize that maybe they're underneath, but I, I can't actually see them. So if you want to see them, what you need to do, uh, let's just enter run mode, all right? You need to enter float mode. You see on the left side button, place one, I pressing one, and then I can use space to fly up. And if I point the cursor to the block, you see now it's highlighted with a silhouette of uh, purple lines. You can choose other ones. It becomes semi-transparent, and then I can actually see all the items that I actually put underground, all the lightings, all there. Now the thing is that if I want to get them out, right now is of the time we're making this video, I have no idea how to do this because I can't actually select them directly, right? This would be like an option to do this. I mean, I can't actually get inside, uh, and I should if I want to edit things. Maybe I edit something wrong, or I want to be able to kind of, uh, I don't know, remove it, delete it, something. So, of course I can just undo all all of this, but I've put so many things after this one, so if you put by mistake something underneath, I can actually delete it. Let's try to point. No, I just delete the base, you see? So, if I want to do this, I need to delete the base, and then I can actually go in. That's the only option. Only option. And then I can just go back and put the level back, how do you do this? You go to F. Um, I actually, I don't think you, no, you don't have the structure here. So what I need to do is actually duplicate it. I don't even how to return it to, to use the, ba the basic one. I don't think you have the basic one here. Let me search. Platform. Platform, yeah, the platform. Let me see if this is one. I'm not sure. Let's, let's try it out platform use no this is not it so <laughs> so as far as i know if i want to use it again what i need to do beforehand is just copy another platform duplicate this one you do duplicate it but just c and then you can duplicate it before you do anything and then i put it here and now if i wanted to uh just uh copy it back i need to do like copy of this one for example and then after deleting all the lighting inside all the things that I did there, I can just put it back. Oh, I didn't put it in the right place. You see, you need to be, it's very hard to know actually what you're doing. You need to look at the, not this one, no. You need to see everything, you see. If you don't see it, it's not visible, right? So you need to put it like this. Ah, even then, never mind, you understand the point. <laughs> ah, it's not easy, like this, right? All right. If I want to, of course, I can delete. By the way, others. I'm just going to go right click and go selection mode, and I can press X to delete this one, X to delete this one, X to delete this one. Uh, as you can see, it's not all right. Uh, what we can do? Edit. I can just edit, and then I can reposition it. And the thing is that I need to move my character in order to move it. You see? So if I want to move it, or I can use push item away, F and C. So F, C see I can just use my character I can maybe move a bit down with shift and then I can actually put it you see I need to be in the right view to actually see what am I doing what am I doing what am I doing anyway just delete everything just delete everything just delete this one delete delete I put so many of them but I have one all right and this one we're just going to edit it edit e i'm just going to move it i'm going to shift maybe there's other way to do this the only way i know how to do this right now is and try to put it Oof. <laughs> so basically if i want to move it a bit i need to edit and then move it here like this yeah need to change the viewpoint to do this you see it's a bit now i need to lower it so i need to tap 
and I can move my character down with shift. Oh, I need to edit it, sorry, E. Now I can actually do this. Right? All right. The other I positioned, by the way, wrongly. Uh, so if I want to position this one, uh, let's say this one I want to position on the ground. You guys can see I'm pressing shift to go down. It's not on the ground, so I can press E. And I can just move the cursor up or down until you see it snaps to the grid. The reason it snaps to the grid, by the way, because as you see, if I press 3, it's already snap mode grid. Alright? If you use 3 snap mode object, it will snap to other objects. Right? It will snap to other objects. And you're going to use a E to edit this one. And you see it snaps to other objects, so as you see, it's kind of funny. You can do this. <laughs> it, looks funny. it looks funny. Because you snap it to objects, right? So if there's another object, for example, a tree. You want to snap it to a tree like this. You can do this. Because we are snapping them to objects. So this is an object. Everything that I put in here is an object. So just snapping it. The other option, if you press 3, there's no snapping. So if I use E to get this one, uh, it won't snap to anything. So I can actually put it anywhere I want. Um, here. Or if I want to put it a bit down, I can use E. Put it here. You see? Nice. Uh, what else? Uh, yeah, again, as I told you, you can easily delete with X. You can undo with Z. It's nice that you don't need to press Ctrl Z, just Z. Hmm. Simple. All right. So if you think that I know this again, that uh, again this tool, uh, I'm sure it would be improved. Uh, this is now the uh, public uh, private beta, so uh, I'm probably sure that I'm still working on it and to improve it to make it easier. But overall, I know it some it feels a bit harder the first time. I mean, I used to using uh, 3D software, so I'm, I'm kind of comfortable with this one. But, uh, you know, after you just put things, don't take, you know, don't rush things. Don't try to do with a different, a very simple things. For example, if I want to move the tree, uh, so example, let's go to one, run mode, right? Uh, let's say if I'm, um, I know now I want to actually edit it, right? So I press one to enter float mode, all right? Now, float mode is kind of weird, but... I, I would call it edit mode. I don't know because it gives you the option to edit things. Float mode is kind of a uh, you know kind of weird. So I press one and I'm in edit mode. And now we can actually edit things. I can press space to go up, shift to go down, space to go up, shift to go down. If I want to do it slowly, I can do it with Alt. So I use Alt and I can press Shift, move slowly, or Alt and space to move down. All right. And uh, this allows you to actually get different viewpoints of the scene. So if you are placing objects, you want to make sure that you are positioning them uh, properly. So you need the different viewpoints and you can just just walk through the scene. I'm using both the mouse and the WSD to easily move around the 3D uh, scene. All right. And again, you can press three to snap to change the different snap mode, object, none and grid. Well, so if you want to put something, for example, on the on the surface, of course you're going to use grid. If you want to attach something to another object, you're going to use object. Um, for example, let's try something. Uh, we're going to use this one. Right? We're going to use this one. Uh, we're going to snap to object. We're going to use E. Let's take this one. Ha! Look at this! Cool! Ha! Nice! Alright, what well, we can do more? Edit. Now you can also rotate using 4. You can see 4, you can actually rotate to the next snap point. Ah, next snap point. So what we're going to do, uh, no, just put it here. You're going to use this one. Uh, this one, because it's smaller. And now, uh, E press E to edit now use 4 let's see what to the next snap point I don't know what it does let me see I don't know 
Anyway, continue. Push item away again. Four, uh, F and C. Oh, it's not working. I think because of the snap. If I change three, none. Yeah, then I can actually. Yeah, uh, because there's nowhere to snap, so the F and C didn't actually work. But I can use F and C. F and C. Again, it's always push it away, but on the vector, on the direction where I'm actually pointing. Like there is a line from the center of the screen downwards to the area where I'm pointing at, that's where we're actually gonna push it. You see? Forward and backwards. So if I'm pushing it here, it's gonna move forward and backwards. It's on the vector where I'm actually pointing direction. Right? This is something to note as well. Alright, so for example, if I'm putting something on the grid, I'm gonna show it to you. I'm gonna put on the grid. Now, uh, by the way, before we do this, you can see that part of it is actually occluded transparent this means that part of it is actually intersecting inside the base right i don't want this so if i move it up you can see everything is blue so everything now is visible all right not occluded that's why i know that's how i know that they're actually putting it on the ground as you can see it's on the ground now right all right uh all right what else well, this is a few things. Of course, if I discover more, I'm going to share with you some tips, some things that uh, might hopefully might improve. Um, and now we can create some really cool stuff with this one, just playing around. Uh, I'm going to continue to explore. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. If I find new great things and findings, I, of course, I'm going to share with you. So let's just press 2 and get into the game. And Aha! Looks amazing, huh? Of course, I'm going to design much better levels. This is just for, you know, demonstration. Thanks for watching, everyone. See you on the next video. Bye-bye. Out of ammo.